The next thing we are going to talk about are algebra tiles. Algebra tiles are blocks, and these blocks are tools for us to um, use to learn about algebra. Okay, so algebra has something to do with variables like x, y, a, b, and so we're going to use tiles to help us understand algebra, algebraic expressions. Okay, so um, this is a sheet. This is um, going to be part of a worksheet that you have, um, and it's below to do now. And so just listen and watch this video first, and then you'll have time to copy everything down. So we're going to look at this tile first, okay, this first algebra tile. It's in the shape of a square, and one thing that we're going to say is that this length is 1. And if you remember about the square, you remember that all sides are equal on a square. So if this length is 1, then this width is also 1. Or you can say that this is the base and the height, and both the base and the height are 1. Okay, So that means the area is just 1 times 1. And so 1 times 1 is the same as just 1. So we can say that this is called the one tile. Why? Because the area of this square is just one. All right, you'll have time to write this later on. We'll pause the video. Um, let's take a look at this tile. It's a rectangular, it's, it's going to be a skinnier looking tile. It's a rectangular tile. And one thing to keep in mind is that this side of this tile is also the same length as this side. So if this is 1, that means this is also going to be a length of 1. All right. Now, if you had a chance to play with these tiles, you would not know how long this would be. Okay, Since we don't know the exact length of this side, we are going to call this length x because we don't know the exact number for this length okay so we're going to use X because it's unknown now to find the area of this tile we now do X times 1 length times width or base times height and so X times 1 well how do we find out that answer well let's think about it what is 5 times 1 5 times 1 is 5 what is 7 times 1 7 times 1 is 7. So when we're doing x times 1, we're going to say that x times 1 is just x. Okay. Now, because the area is x, we're going to say that this is called the x tile because the area is x. Okay. So now we have a 1 tile because the area is 1, and we now have an x tile because the area of this tile is x. Now let's take a look at this last algebra tile. Um, if we had a chance to see this, or or for a chance, or if we had a chance for you to try this, you could. Um, one thing you'll realize that one thing that you'll realize is that this side is also going to be x. Okay. If you had a chance to match this with this match this tile with this, you'd realize that these two sides are the same, okay? And because this is a square also, if this side is x, it means the other side is also x, okay? And in fact, all the sides are x. So now, the area is x times x. Well, how else could we write that? Well, if we were talking about 6 times 6, well, that's 6 to the second power. If we were talking about 3 times 3, well, that's the same thing as 3 to the second power. So for this tile, we're going to say that the area is x to the second power, or x squared. Okay. So we're going to say that this is called the x squared tile, or this is the x to the second power tile, because the area is x squared, or x to the second power. So now what we're going to do, um, I, we're going to give you all a chance to write this down, okay? So 
we're going to pause the video so that you have a chance to write all of this down. Thank you very much for writing this down. We are actually going to go ahead and um, go to the next video.